Hello everyone. Now, I know there are lots of you who already know who I am, but I'm conscious too that on Monday morning we're going to have some new faces in the school, and it's possible that because you've been away for such a long time, some of you might have forgotten who I am. So before I start today, I just want to uh, remind you who I am or welcome myself properly to all of you. I am Mr. Ogden, and I'm the Deputy Head Pastoral here at Hatherop Castle School. And I'm here today in our Performing Arts Centre because I want to talk to you about something that I feel is really, really important. Not just important for you as the pupils, but for the adults as well within our community, both our teachers and our parents as well. It's a really important message for everybody. Coronavirus has really impacted and affected how we do lots of different things. Since December, many of you have had to stay at home. Your Christmases will have been disrupted. You won't have been able to leave the house. And you haven't been able to see family or friends either. We've had to wash our hands more. And also for us adults, we need to wear face masks when we're out and about, for example, when we go shopping. And this situation can make you feel sad. Sometimes it can make you feel lonely. Sometimes it can even make you feel cross. But that's okay. It's okay to not be okay. All of this has impacted on everyone's mental health, both children and adults. You may even be anxious about coming back to school next week, and that's okay. Even I'm a little bit anxious about next week. I can't really remember my timetable, which I haven't followed properly since last December. There are lots of faces of people I haven't seen who I'm going to be welcoming back, and I'm going to be wondering how they look and how they're going to be. But I want to ask you this question, and it's an important one. Could you spot someone who's feeling low? How would you know if they are? What might you see? And might that be different if it was a child or if it was an adult? It's important as a, commu as a community that we're looking out for each other. And it's important for us to see those signs, both in other people and in ourselves as well. Our brains manage how we feel. And how we feel has an impact on our physical and our mental health. If we experience bad things, such as unkind behaviour, or we experience loss, or we feel anxious, our brains make us feel very low. But if we experience good things, like someone being kind to us, or when we run around and play with others, or even if we have a hug, our brain makes us feel good, happy, and fulfilled. Our mental health has ups and downs on a daily basis, and this is because how our brain makes us feel. So here's a key question for you that I want you to think about. When we're feeling low, and it's affecting our mental health, can we do anything about it? Yes or no? Well, I feel that the answer is yes. I think there are lots of things that we can do. For example, getting regular exercise, having time to play indoors or outdoors, being part of a team that appreciate each other, going to a school that looks after the well-being of its pupils, taking part in activities, feeling loved, valued, and safe, being able to learn and access opportunities to succeed, Accepting who you are and recognising what you're good at. Having a sense of belonging in your family or your school or your community. Or even having the strength to cope when something is wrong. And having the resilience or the ability to solve problems and bounce back again. And that's why today I want to introduce you, the whole school, to the five ways to well-being. The five ways to well-being can help us all move our mood and have a positive impact on our mental health. So, 
let's have a look at what the five ways to well-being are. First of all, we've got connect. Talk and listen. Be there. Feel connected. Be active. Do what you can. Enjoy what you do. Move your mood. Take notice. Remember the simple things that give you joy. Keep learning. Embrace new experiences. See opportunities and surprise yourself. And finally, give. Give your time, your words, and your presence. So five different things that we can focus on, each of which are going to help us with our mental well-being. And what I want to do today is to set you a daily challenge. This is something that everyone in our school community can do, and it's something that we can do right from Monday. And it's something that we can do every day, not just in the first week, but in the second week back and the third week, all the way to the Easter holidays. And you can take this away and take this home and carry on through the Easter holidays, and we can carry on into the summer term as well. It's something for the whole community to really become part of. What I want to do is to split each of these key targets into the different days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And what I'm going to ask you to do is focus on that key challenge for that particular day. And each morning, with your chooses, you're going to be given a planning sheet. And on the Monday, you're going to see how you can focus on the key target of connect. You're going to write down an idea or a few ideas. It could be one, two, three, possibly even more ideas that you can do to hit that target to help boost your mental well-being. Now, what I'm going to do is give to your tutors these slides which have some ideas of the things that you can do. And each morning your tutors are going to look at these slides and going to talk about some of the ideas that you can see on this board. But you might have your own ideas too. Your tutor might have them as well. And you can decide as a class if you're going to set that target, that one target as a class, or you're going to set different ones as individuals. Because this is your challenge and you can do it the way that you want to do it. And I've just written some ideas on the board here of things that you can do on your Monday, which is your, the day we're going to connect. We're going to talk and listen, be, be there and feel connected. Now, on the first Monday back, you might quite like to focus on the first or the second target. You're going to be seeing friends that you might not have seen for a long time. There may even be some new faces in your class, and it's possible that you may even have an opportunity to make a new friend. So there are lots and lots of ideas here. I quite like the Play the Smile Challenge, if you want to set that as your target on Monday. Have you ever noticed that when you smile at somebody, Pretty much always, they'll always smile back at you. And when someone smiles at you, it makes you feel good. So not only will you boost somebody else's mental well-being by giving them a smile, that'll boost yours as well by giving you one back. So challenge yourself. See how many people you can smile at throughout the day and see how many people return that smile to you straight away. Tuesday's going to be our Be Active Day and lots of ideas on the board here. It, it doesn't have to be long, it could just be for 15 minutes and it might be as a class during form time. You'd like to go for a walk as a class and be active and get outside and stretch your legs. I quite like the, uh, the just dance activity here. Why don't you just put a piece of music on and just dance and go crazy just for a short time. Really great fun and it will make you feel fantastic. On Wednesday we've got Take Notice. Remember the simple things that give you joy. And you can try some breathing exercises or listening to relaxing music. You can even see how your friends are feeling and ask them and sit down and say, you know what, I'm going to find out how my friends are feeling today and ask them about how they're feeling. Or even just going for a listening walk. Going for a walk out in the woods and just pausing and listening to the leaves making a rustling noise in the wind or hearing the birds sing. Something as simple as that. Simple things that will give you lots and lots of pleasure. On Thursday, keep learning. Embracing new experiences, seeing opportunities and surprising yourself. 
Lots of ideas on this one. One of the things I love, actually, is the maths badges that we do here at Hatherock. I really think they push people outside their comfort zone. And even I've had a go at doing one of those maths badges. It's a real sense of accomplishment you get when you have a go at doing them. It's quite a challenge, but the sense of achievement that you get back when it's complete is just wonderful. And it would be wonderful if with Mr Nish you could set yourself the challenge of getting some maths badges this term or in the summer term. Really fantastic. Just one of the ideas that you could do on a Thursday. And on Friday, give. Giving something back. Giving your time, giving your words, or your presence. Complimenting a friend. Helping somebody out. Lots of ideas that you can engage in here. But most importantly, we need to understand why we're doing this. Why is this important? It's important to understand that the five ways to well-being should be practiced every day in small ways. And you probably do lots of this every day without even knowing that you are. Because by doing these things, your body makes lots of happy chemicals that flow through your body and naturally improves your well-being. And you can see on the board behind me just some of the examples of the things that you can do and those happy chemicals that your body can produce that happen as a positive response to the things that you do. And all of these things combined are going to boost your mental well-being and they're gonna make you feel really positive and fantastic. It's a wonderful challenge, and I really hope that everyone in the school community can get, get behind it and become part of it. And I want to wish you good luck with it as well, because by boosting yours and your friends' well-being, you're really going to make a positive difference in the entire community. And I think you're going to have a lot of fun doing it as well. So, the best of luck, get stuck in, start chatting with your friends and your tutor as well about the things that you can do. And I hope you enjoy it. Good luck and goodbye.